Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth-generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting.
Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven. Come in. Forty-seven, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. Position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazim. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Sorry, sir. Crisp shirt will only get you so far in life. Know what I mean? Now, please, be my guest and celebrate. Thank you.
47. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map, Terminal. Ugh. Come the fuck on. Whoa. So now that's there, then. You're feeling better. Yeah, me here. Just checking out a strange sound. Over. Oh, why is this happening to me today of all days? Got some strange noises here. Looking into it. Over. Speechless. Sir. That Rangan guy. Never guessed me. Calls me. I put in my Looking good today, sir. Yes, Lucy Phillips' work achieved the scale. Okay. Right See there. what they have that. That's Marcus Stivers. Providence partner, self entitled and arrogant little worm. He might not look like much, but he's done more damage to the world than you could dream. M47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Hey, stay safe. Gosh, your work must be so glamorous. We've only got one fuse left in the fuse box, have we? If that blows, we might get Man. some irregularities with the lights. People might not notice. Lucy will. She'll flip. She demands perfection. I told you this was a problem this morning. You haven't told her yet, have you? I tried. But this is her day. It's the biggest exhibition yet. I don't really blame her for being a little preoccupied with all the glitz and the building. Yeah, we all sell out eventually. Well, just make sure we don't ballast everything, okay? Don't worry, we'll be fine.
Hello. Yeah, just wanted to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. Stay here. Why not? Please stay back. Now, only a fool would assume that power can be kept by only a few good men. But I men. like listening to the radio. Well, and women. Our Royal <coughs> Highness has never complained about it before. We might be. I'm Ms. sorry, Mr. Ingram. Yeah. We need our, our, our chest yes, pieces. Yes, has requested no noise, no noise of any no kind. Oh, like yeah. all the but it means all work slower. I don't care oh, what patience. tempo you is the key. Work. It will be This is the, uh, the fundamental and rule when recruiting. Explain. I would like to uh, share a story, a uh, fable. Well, it's time. So if that should happen, little check. Should be able to run a lo only boy who came from a less than modest home showed uh, from an early age uh, signs of great intelligence invented something that no one noticed. Just uh, like the eye, uh, he began to push the little Jeffrey Harden, believing he could make something of himself. Okay, that's enough for that. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass ball billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they Everyone believed that it was due to his brilliance, but that fate had dealt him such a generous hand. Now, this was partially true, except fate is not abstract. Not bad. I need a break, though. We got them, 47. Soon there will be no more problems. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. Come in, Delta 6. This is Big Cat on Tango's last known position. Nothing here. No visuals. Please advise. Over. This is Alpha 3. How copy? Over. We got a guy being a real asshole. Please get up right away. Any description or possible suspect? Ah, so he caught my attention because he was definitely in disguise. Hey, I know that guy. Got a solid idea on the perp. I don't know, he was obviously in some clever disguise. Spread out, no 
need to conserve ammo. Shoot on sight. Hello, sir. Yeah, clean that mess up. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough.
she came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here. And it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlyle keeps a case file on the constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor, the Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now. The target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlyle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. It... Oh, by the way, I told Kate about those texts. What did she say? Well, I thought she'd be mad at me, but she just thanked me. Said she understood the position I was in. Uh, we had a really good talk about it, actually. Oh, what did I tell you? She's a sensible woman. 
And that's stuff from your ex. Manipulation. If you follow me. I know. I know. I guess I thought she was gonna read into them and freak out and say I must I have done something to provoke her. Thing, Shit, man. So Caroline really did a number on you. Everything's just so strange. Oh, man. Yes, you are the man. Oh. Hey, who is throwing stuff around here? Come on. What? Ah! Oh God, help! Please. Help me! Aren't what? you supposed to be doing your job? What's going on? Someone is just lying there in their underwear. Stay here, just in case. Leave it to me. Gage, Q, Gravedigger Actual here. Send your traffic. Over. Help, please. Someone's over there. I think they're hurt. Up you go. Man up, okay? Sir, if you want to get through, I'm going to have to pat you down. Rosie, you need to forget about Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. Stick to your own kind. You mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. All he wanted to do was play his stupid video games. Never any romance. I deserve romance. That is Alexa Carlisle, unofficial leader of the Provenance Partners and last one to be alive. You stay here. I'll take a look. Okay, okay. J just do your thing, sir. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great... That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Did you give the Fitzpatrick token to Madame Carlyle's daughter? Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent, that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why I gave it to her, that sort of thing. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler? Oh, of course.
Wow. Tell her I can see the pores in your skin. And call me as soon as you've got them. Get to the bottom of it. Hello, I could listen all day. He pours emotion into that instrument. Something's off. Pruitt got word his motion was rejected. We all signed the blood thing four days ago. American lawyer in the, the small office. Did you check his travel documents? Everything's in order. Excuse me, sir. Seems like you're not cleared to come through here. Sorry. Some strange noises here. Looking into it, over. Ah, 
Okay, I'll take it from here. Just sit back, relax. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, I totally understand.
Nice. Aaron Ford Jr. calling from Morgan Yates and Cohn. I need to get a listing of asset Hi transfers there. from the Carlisle Is my account shift over HTC already? depot number 5085. Uh, no, I need it immediately. Yes, I'll take over yes, from here. I'll hold. Yes, I'm still here. It doesn't exist. What do you mean it doesn't exist? Uh, right. I'll double check and get back to you. Can I do anything for you? Uh, yes, actually, did you see that time when the guy was falling? Gregory, don't say more to that weird detective than you need to. I was just having a laugh, yeah? I must admit, he's pretty good. What did you say?
On top of everything, Rosie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking heart happy. Poor thing. And let's go back from the dead. It's all gone. Ron and I haven't been briefed about shit. What the fuck do I say to Carlisle? I feel completely blindsided. Stop. This all confirms that Arthur Edwards stole everything from Madame Carlyle. Perhaps you should let her know how bad it is. Is 47. Still alive, huh? Good on ya. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Madame Carla's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. There's no family without secrets, 47. But this family seemed to outdo most.
a month now. You're American. What on earth are you doing in this shithole? A girl like you belongs to clubs in London. Talk like that. Please stay back. Bad news, I'm afraid. Oh, we don't have any extra fuses. Ethel looked everywhere. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No power, no portrait. Oh, Madame Carlyle will be furious. Uh, she expects the family photo to be done any moment now. I need to keep the house in this, and I need it to be perfect. I don't believe for a second that Zachary committed suicide. We don't need to run through his lab for three seasons, yes? Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. I'd say worried about how things can be handled with Gregory and Emma taking over. I said they let him stay, but Emma is sure Emma would throw him out first chance he got him. And now we'll never know. Can you just stand up, please? Now that's true, though. Now he was here when the saving man of Carlisle's office was prepared last week. A safe in Madame Carlyle's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. No offense, but please get out Do I know you?
of interesting stories. I actually, so, um, yeah, I should. Uh, Excuse me? Hello, this is Cassandra Cox, Edward's ex-wife. I don't know what's going on at your house, but Edward is losing it again. He seems to believe that Alexa has come back from the dead, and that he has to write the eulogy for some make-believe funeral event. I still have the restraining order on him, so whoever gets this message now that Alexa is dead, better get him under control. Otherwise, I see no other way than to get the police involved. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47.
Mission complete. Well done, 47. Forty-seven. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! Shit! Take us all on? Don't. Yeah! Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. 